a larger screen and a desktop uh, computer would help viewing some of the scenes in this video. You can watch it on a, on a smaller screen, but the larger screen would help with some of the scenes. In this video, I want to talk about airfoils, angle of attack, and uh, boomerangs. This is a uh, model toy glider, just purchased off Amazon, made out of a foam type material. It's pretty durable, actually. But uh, so it, it does, this has a airfoil built into it. It's a little hard to see here. We'll see if we can see, but it's definitely got this circle camera rounded up here and tapers off that way. So the question is, is that airfoil necessary for flight? Let's just give this a, a throw and see what it looks like. Well, that flew halfway well, but let's look at this. This is a balsa wood model glider. I used to love these things when I was a kid. Totally flat wing, no airfoil at all. That's if it'll fly. Yeah. That Yeah, that flies pretty good. So you don't need, obviously, an airfoil to fly. But let's look at airfoils. There's a lot of different designs. Airfoil designers call this raised area here uh, camber. Um, it's the air, assuming the wing is moving in this direction, has to come up over this raised surface and come down this way. Has to go faster and due to the Bernoulli principle, should be less pressure pushing down than there is down here. So therefore you get some lift. But then people ask, okay, well how does a stunt airplane fly upside down? Well, most stunt airplanes have a symmetrical uh, airfoil. The camera's same top and bottom. That way they can fly either way. But the way most wings get most of their lift is not with the airfoil, it's with angle of attack, and that's this. Let's say the wing is moving this way, this is the angle of attack, so it gets higher pressure here, causes lift. But then you got drag involved, which slows it down. It's too much angle of attack and doesn't go anywhere, no lift. So it's got to be just right. But obviously if a stunt plane, you can go get it so you can fly either way upside down. So angle of attack is very important. The airfoil is very important for helping to reduce drag with that angle of attack. While well, doing some research for this video, I came across some very, very good information uh, on the internet that you'll find useful. One of them is uh, some good information about the Wright brothers. I had always thought that the Wright brothers were just a couple of guys tinkering around in their bicycle shop, threw something together, and, and it flew. Well, I found out they really put some scientific work into it. They had to do a lot of research building and building their own equipment to measure lift versus drag to get the best wing possible with what they had to work with because they had limited horsepower in their engine. Very interesting articles in my description. If you look down, there's some links to some information, one from AirMag, and uh, actually a little video from NASA that portrays the Wright brothers talking about their wing development. It's very interesting. Now, one of the things that's always interested me is boomerangs. Boomerangs, or this is actually a boomerang I bought off Amazon from a place called Colorado Boomerangs. Supposedly made according to a a aborigine uh, design and uh, it does work uh, to some extent but uh, basically the way these things are designed is imagine that they, you know they tell you to throw it at a slight angle from vertical at 45 degrees in the wind so if the wind's coming this way I thought that way something like this okay you don't throw them just flat horizontal um, 
that's what they tell you to do. There's a good video. I've got a link to it in my description uh, from boomerangs.com. Uh, shows you how to do that. Uh, but if you look closely at a boomerang, the way they're made, it's flat on the bottom, no angle of attack built into this. But since the normal way to throw it is like this, that makes this the leading edge, this the trailing edge. As it rotates around, this becomes the leading edge, that the trailing edge. And so um, what you get is basically an airfoil type of lift effect going on. Remember in our airfoil discussion, this is the leading edge, this is going into the wind, okay? That's like this was being thrown by a right-handed person like me. This side's going into the wind over here. This side's going into the wind here. Those are the leading edges. And so the other side, the trailing edge being tapered off. If you look carefully here, got some rain on our metal roof. Hopefully it doesn't ground this out. This plywood, see there's a line there from one of the laminations. You have two, almost three lines here, showing this is shaved off a lot more on the trailing side. And if we rotate this around, same thing here. A little hard to see with the reflections and what have you. Here's one of the lamination lines there. There's one, two, almost three of them there. So shaved off a lot more here. So it's definitely an airfoil shape uh, built into this thing. So what we're gonna do is give this a throw and see how it does. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna turn it around and make it go backwards. It isn't upside down airfoil in this kind of configuration. Actually, the airfoil's <laughs> running backwards. The tapered end is in, in the leading edge and that's you never do that. So we're just gonna do it for fun, see what it does. I also traced out this shape onto a piece of 1 8 inch tempered hardboard it with all it did was round the edges a little bit. It's perfectly flat, no angle of attack, no airfoil, no nothing. Just this piece of hardboard. We're going to throw that and see what it does. The boomerang has to spin. That's the only way you're going to get an airfoil and lift effect if it's spinning. If no spinning, it ain't going to do much of anything. We're going to throw it. I'm going to throw it like that first, and so you can see what that does, which is not much of anything. You can see here a no-spin throw is worthless. Just falls down. Okay, my first throw here is with the uh, store-bought boomerang. You can see it goes off to the right and up. A lot of lift and sailed back off to my left. The return, but not real close to me. Now the next throw here is with that uh, just that tempered hardboard boomerang I made. See it goes way up in the air to the right. Now it comes back. It actually came closer that closer to me than the regular boomerang. Now what I'm doing here is I'm throwing the regular boomerang in a reverse direction. See, it actually gets some lift, which is very interesting. Didn't curve around, but it did get lift. Now that's the hardboard boomerang. It gets a lot of lift. Started, tries to come back, but doesn't curve around back to me. I think what's going on there, it's an angle of attack effect because when this thing is rotating around, going into the wind, there is an angle to its direction. So it's, that's probably what's happening. I'm going to look at this a little further, but right now that's what I'm thinking is going on because otherwise I don't know how to explain this. Every video you look at showing how to make a boomerang shows you put an airfoil in it. And I found out that actually you can get halfway decent performance of just this. Pretty amazing. In the description of this video, there's also a link to an indigenous uh, fellow giving a very good video presentation on the various um, original aboriginal designs for returning boomerangs and non-returning boomerangs. It's very interesting. You should watch it if you get a chance. He has several of them designs laid out. He talks about the returning boomerangs versus non-returning boomerangs. And, and in th that case, most of the airfoil is right near the tip and those things. And they have different shapes. But he did point out that the returning boomerangs were designed to 
to kill birds for hunting. They throw it up in the air at a flock of birds. If it hits one and it comes down, well then they've got a bird for their dinner. If they miss, the idea is the boomerang comes back to them. They also have a lot of non-returning boomerangs. They're basically throwing sticks. Pretty deadly looking things. They throw pretty much horizontal to take out things on the ground. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and also subscribe and check out our other links. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.